When we're developing a mediation module, there's this concept called mediation primitives that we can take advantage of. So if we're using different kinds of tool sets, uh, IDE tools, vendor-based tools, there are a couple of standard mediation uh, pieces that we can always incorporate. Uh, we call them mediation primitives. One of them is simply called a message logger. It allows us to log copies of messages uh, to some type of uh, metadata store, some type of a database for retrieval or audit purposes. Uh, obviously a very handy feature if you're in a situation where you need to log incoming and outgoing messages to their full extent. Another one is basically a database lookup primitive uh, that lets us basically go out there and, and, and easily retrieve information from a database, uh, kind of extract data, extract information, add it to an incoming or an outgoing message. Another type is a message filter uh, that basically allows us to look at the content of the messages as they're coming through and then based on the content we can route it to the next mediation component piece based on the results. So this is a kind of a, a message flow situation, a message flow concept. So as messages are coming through, we can actually use uh, XPath, for example, to go in, look at various uh, pieces of a, a message looking for significant amounts of information, and then use that to pass it to the next mediation level. There's an XSLT primitive. So we want to do message transformation. We want to manipulate, modify using uh, the transformation schema uh, from an incoming or an outgoing message here. We have a very simple process, a very simple primitive that will do that for us. Most of these particular primitives we see in a uh, transformation type of a map uh, that allows us to, to look at the input and the output message and just use, simply use drag and drop to create this. There's a fail primitive that just throws exceptions. So somewhere in my, in my path flow, my message flow here, I get some type of an error. I can use this simple primitive to throw some type of an exception back. And then there's a stop primitive basically just uh, terminates everything. So if I get a situation where I can't recover from some type of an error, then I can use this primitive to completely stop the processing. So these are some of the basic ones. Uh, all ESB vendors are going to have their own variation of these mediation primitives. and uh, They're going to install them in different ways and different formats. Just realize that there's going to be a, a, a core set uh, of these primitive options that we can basically incorporate into all any and all of the mediation models that we would be creating.